Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I am gonna showcase my new planner and kind of how I set it up. And more importantly, I really want to walk through how come I switched from my Leuchtturm into my KKK planner and kind of the biggest differences in why I decided to um, change my, my style a little bit. So before we get into into all the planning goodies and bullet journaling, I just want to show off my planner a little bit and uh, I wish that I did an unboxing video when this arrived because it was so neatly packed and, and it just felt like luxurious and it made me feel special and fancy and I really did enjoy it. So again, I wish I did an unboxing video, but since I have no patience, I did not. I just went ahead and ripped that shit open. Okay, so I mean the, the first features that you think of, obviously it's gorgeous and it's it's black and white and gold and I have my name embossed on the front and, and oh, oh, it's so pretty and I just love the uh, kind of striped lining on the inside. Oh. Outside of that you have a bunch of little pockets and you have this one uh, pocket with a zipper on it so if you have something that you really don't want to lose or um, you know something that you need to bring on the go and you want to keep it a little safer than than the rest of whatever's in there uh, you can just sip it in there um, so that's that's really handy actually because I prefer to kind of take my planner on the go and I like storing stuff in it as well to kind of give it one more purpose um, so that's perfect for me. In the front and the back it also comes with two different sizes of notepads so you can just take some quick notes and when you open it up you have seven different kind of dividers or tabs or whatever the frick you want to call it you know and underneath all of those tabs you have so many inserts and um, this kind of blew my mind a little bit as well. Um, for one, they sent like two full sticker sheets, uh, which just also like makes me feel special and it makes me happy and it feels like they just like went the extra mile. Uh, when it comes to the inserts, you have the calendar grids where you can just fill in the numbers of the days. So if you're in like a time crunch or something, this can come in really really handy because it's already set up for you and if you don't have time to set your month up then you can use this until you have time or you can just use this because you know it works the next tab is meetings and in here you have a bunch of meeting notes um, inserts and after that you have a to-do section and you have all of these to-do pages and the remaining four tabs were all um, this kind of just note-taking uh, paper. So the most frequently asked question that I've been getting ever since I started using this type of a planner instead of my Leuchtturm is where do I get my papers from? And um, I was searching everywhere, every corner of the internet, trying to find um, a reasonably priced paper um, that was thick enough not to like warp when you use some light watercolor and it wouldn't ghost really bad and you know I wanted it to be kind of a little bit thicker and sturdier than um, your average kind of copy paper is. Um, so I decided to order some 170 GSM paper and um, I took it to a print shop and I uh, custom ordered the dot grid uh, printed on top of them and I figured that since I was struggling so hard to find this type of paper that I had to literally do it myself, I figured based off of all the amount of questions asking about this paper, I figured you guys are struggling to find it too. Um, so therefore, I am on Monday, so in two days, I am opening up my very own Etsy shop and the papers will be available for purchase on there. So 
you will be getting 50 pages per bundle um, and you can choose between a 3.5 millimeter dock grid and a 5 millimeter dock grid so whichever one suits your needs better um, so just like a little side note and some self-promotion just throwing it out there uh, if you need some thicker sturdier paper inserts for your planner uh, my Etsy shop will be up and running on Monday so about these tabs or dividers um, I really really like the the gray color of them and I think it looks really good with the gold and the black and the white so I kind of don't want to mess with it I was thinking I'd do some like really cool design or something but for now I think I'm gonna leave it so I will make my own tabs at some point however as of now, I'm still kind of testing out what order I want things to go. So until I'm sure of what order I want the tabs to be, I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to leave them blank or pre-printed the way they are. And once I feel like I'm comfortable with the layout of my calendar and with all the different tabs and stuff, that's when I will customize them. When it comes to the reasons why I decided to switch from a Leuchtturm to a planner is partly because I love the look of a planner. I, I've always been in love with planners. I don't know, I don't know where that love generates from, um, but <laughs> it's somewhat of an obsession and I, I love planners and I love being able to kind of have one more use for it so all the little pockets and stuff makes it easier for me to carry around some cards and stuff like that and for me it's just a really handy solution the very biggest reason though is that this way I can use tabs and I can have one section for my monthly setup I can have one section for my projects I can have one section for my social media and this way I can just keep everything separate and for me it makes more sense and I feel like everything is better organized this way so that is definitely the biggest selling point for me um, secondly if you make a boo-boo on a page I mean if you make a small boo-boo you can usually cover it up or fix it somehow uh, but if you make like a massive boo-boo in a bound notebook um, you're gonna either have to rip the page out and that's gonna be visible you're gonna see that you ripped the page out and maybe the pages are numbered and stuff and it's not gonna add up and you know maybe maybe for a normal person this would not be an issue but for me it really really is um, and um, you know I'm I'm a perfectionist and when things don't add up or you know it's a little bit of like OCD almost if I'm using a planner I don't have to deal with that because if I mess up on one page worst case scenario I'm gonna have to redo the opposite page as well because I'm throwing that piece of paper away but other than that it will leave no mark whatsoever in my planner and if I feel like I'm not using anything I can easily remove it from my planner and if I want to add something to my planner it's simple and easy for me to do that as well because I just have to pop the rings open at whatever place in my planner that I, that I want that insert to be and then it's there as of where if it's a notebook if it's a kind of bound notebook thing um, that means that I'm gonna have to pick up at whatever page I'm on unless I left space earlier you know when I was setting up and I left a couple of blank pages like in case so for me this is just way more customizable and uh, that's the winning argument for me however there are uh, especially one down point and that is that it doesn't lay flat because the rings are like in the middle and they're kind of like 
it's it's hard to write if you're writing like close to the rings in the middle and um, because your hand is gonna nudge into them and stuff and you know a large term will lie flat on the table and you can make a two page spread to kind of appear as one whole unit as of where in my planner now you can see very clear clearly that it's two different pages even though they're matching it's obvious it's two different pages if that makes any sense the beauty of a bullet journal is that each and every journal is just as unique and individual as the person who's writing in it and you know in the end it all comes down to personal preference and it's unique and there's no right and there's no wrong and literally all you really need is a notebook and a pen and you can bullet journal and the rest is up to you so with that um let me know in the comments down below what kind of a journal you use for your bullet journaling i would love to know that so here's just a little mini flip through of the pages that i have already done and set up for my for my yearly setup i really do hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching happy planning and i will see you next week bye